Pastor Zillinger's Daily Devotions. Psalm for today, Psalm 119, verses 169 through 176, form the Hebrew letter Tau uh, for the acrostic of the psalm. And this is the conclusion of Psalm 119, the very end of the Hebrew alphabet. Let my cry come before you, O Lord. Give me understanding according to your word. Let my plea come before you. Deliver me according to your word. My lips will pour forth praise, for you teach me your statutes. My tongue will sing of your word, for all your commandments are right. Let your hand be ready to help me, for I have chosen your precepts. I long for your salvation, O Lord, and your law is my delight. Let my soul live and praise you, and let my your rules help me. I have gone astray like a lost sheep. Seek your servant, for I do not forget your commandments. If you've been listening to this, uh, the devotions that have been on Psalm 119, you will have heard a lot of things that each section talks about. Once again, an acrostic to help people memorize it and to focus on the section. And this section has a little bit of a flavor of cry, and plea, and pour forth praise at my tongue. Um, how do you speak God's word? Now, a lot of times we talk about, oh, we're going to go to worship. We're going to praise God with our speech. That's good. That, that is a good thing. Don't get me wrong. But do you speak God's word of command? Do you speak God's word of narrative? Do you speak God's word not only of comfort, uh, but of, hey, this is what we're supposed to do of doctrine and of teaching? Um, a lot of times we like the fuzzy stuff, if you would, the praise of, wow, God is mighty, or the comfort of, hey, he's come to save us, which we see kind of at the end of the psalm. But I would say to try to speak all of God's word, and maybe speaking God's word in its entirety is maybe a little better for us instead of just a devotional theology or just hitting one verse, like I do in the psalm, Psalm 119 here, is you read it all and you say, I want to speak God's word, the difficult parts and the good parts. I want to speak about Christ, not only to myself, but maybe to other people as well. That's a good reason to memorize God's word, to say, hey, I want to be able to speak it, have it always on my tongue for this. And then at the very end, it uh, talks about, I've gone astray like a lost sheep, seek your servant. This whole psalm talked about how I love God's word, his law, his statutes, his commands, his precepts, all those different things. If you read it over and over, it's like, these are great. And then at the end, it says, you know, I failed. I haven't done what you have asked. I haven't done what it said. Even though I speak it, even though I know it, it's not done correctly. and I'm lost. I've been lost like a sheep. Lord, I need a shepherd. That's really an illusion as you look through at the rest of the Psalms, and especially the Gospel, where Jesus Christ comes in and says, I'm your shepherd. I will seek the lost. I know you're broken, and I want you to enjoy being with the shepherd and the flock and knowing what God has for his flock, to stay with the flock that way. And so it's a continual cycle that we have for this. Uh, Lord, help us not to forget your commandments. Uh, help us not to forget your promises and testimonies in Christ Jesus. The Lord bless your day as well as your week.